What's going on? In today's video, we're going to be having a look at how my little, sweet little M4 Mac Mini fares with Game Porting Toolkit 3 and Metal Effects on DLSS upscaling and also a bit of a, how it goes with frame gen. I'm a bit late to covering this video and to be honest, I have had a lot of help from Mac Pro Tips on YouTube. Uh, he has recorded all of this footage for me, so thank you so much. Before we get into this, I just want to make note that you can use coupon MrMacRight10 for 10% off crossover. Buying it this way, I will also earn a commission, so you'll be supporting the channel. Thank you. Okay, so the first game that we are going to be taking a look at is Ratchet & Clank rift apart now this is the first time i've looked at this game on the channel so i'm really excited it's also the i've never actually played this game anyway uh here is the game running at 1080p medium with no upscaling or frame gen and as we can see it is hanging around 30 fps if we enable an upscaling solution of dlss and quality mode this bumps up the frame rate to about 40 plus FPS. We can also now see in the metal HUD that the scaling input resolution is 1280 by 720. I think this is really cool with the new feature in macOS 26 and the ability to see scaling with metal effects. Here, we can see the massive benefit of DLSS frame gen, seeing over 60 FPS at 1080p medium. Here is the game running at DLSS balanced, which is showing an input resolution of 1120 by 632. So it is a fairly low resolution, but do keep in mind, as I always say, this game is not native. The next game to take a look at is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, without upscaling at 1080p medium, the game is similar to uh, Ratchet & Clank, hitting about 30 FPS. If we enable DLSS balanced, it is hitting closer to 60 FPS. This is also showing a scaling input resolution of 1120 by 632. For some reason, this game is having some issues with DLSS frame gen, and right now, for the best compatibility, you need to use AMD FSR 3 frame gen. It's really cool to be seeing Spider Man hitting 60 FPS at 1080p medium on this M4 Mac Mini. This is a relatively older title now, but it is still pretty demanding with its huge open world. I would love God of War Ragnarok to be ported natively to Mac. I doubt that will ever happen, but if it does, I promise I will dress up as Severus Snape from Harry Potter and do some of his lines. Anyway, uh, at a, a low preset and no upscaling or frame gen, the game is, yeah, hitting about 30 FPS. It's not the most impressive performance, but this is a pretty heavy game to run, so I think it's pretty cool that it's actually working this well. Putting DLSS to balanced, which shows a scaling input res of 1104 by 616, we are now getting closer to 50 FPS, which is much better. But I really wouldn't actually like to play the game this way because I think God of War is best played at either a lock 30 or lock 40, or maybe a lock 60. Sadly, with frame gen enabled at 1080p low, we're still not seeing 60 plus FPS always. Although I do imagine in the near future, it might actually be possible on base M4. We'll just have to wait and see. Moving on, we have probably one of the most challenging games to run uh, currently uh, on this list anyway, which is Silent Hill 2. At about uh, a low preset and 1080p, the game is hitting below 30 FPS. So what can we do to improve the performance? Well, um, we can try DLSS uh, balanced preset, which 
uses a scaling input resolution of 1114 by 627 with this title. And we are hitting about, uh, about 30 FPS, but it can still sometimes go below this target. With frame generation on, it is unfortunately unable to hit 60 plus FPS always. So in this circumstance, I would suggest probably not using frame gen on this title on the M4 Mac Mini and capping the frame rate at 30, which should allow you to play the game at higher video settings. Our last game to take a look at is The Last of Us Part 2. Now, this is also a very, very demanding game to, to run. And to actually get it to be, you know, uh, somewhat playable, we have to run it at very low preset, at 1080p. Even at very low preset, I would argue that this game still looks pretty good. Enabling DLSS quality mode uses a scaling input resolution of 1280 by 720. This provides slightly better performance with the title. With frame generation enabled, we are hitting 60 plus FPS. Although Mac Pro Tips is showing uh, an indoors location, so it is probably going to be different when exploring outside. And I imagine it may go below 60 FPS. All right, guys, and that's it. Just a bit of a brief overview of what it's like using uh, uh, DLSS on my M4 Mac Mini. I think uh, all of this right now, it's very prudent to mention that it's all currently under, it's like it's in beta form in every sense, the operating system, crossover, game porting toolkit 3, so there are many issues happening right now. And I wouldn't suggest uh, playing games this way unless you don't mind like tinkering, tinkering around with things. But basically the whole idea of this video is just to show what it's like playing these games using these new methods on a base M4 chip, because I'm seeing a lot of people showing this stuff, but on more high-end chips like M M3 Max or M4 Max or M4 Pro, etc. So, I don't know, I just thought it would be interesting to see what it's like just on base M4. So, yeah. Anyway, that's basically all it is. Thank you for watching. My name's Stewie. See you later.